welcome to my channel dear students uh, here is the integral of uh, 0 to 1 x to the power m and log x to the power n dx and minus 1 whole to the power n uh, factorial and over m plus 1 whole to the power n plus 1 and this is most important for the ligma function uh, so i am uh, proving this uh, form uh, the result of this integral is this uh, so um, the procedure of technique had, uh, of this integral. So let us assume for this function. So C, uh, so another integral form is 0 to 1 and x to the power m and dx. You know the integration of this result and this is very simple. This is x to the power m plus 1 over m plus 1. We put the limit here 0 to 1. So that would be here m plus 1. Okay. So this is the parameter m. So with respect to now, uh, let us uh, another function like uh, this is rho of m. If we differentiate with respect to m, then m be here parameter. It is let us assume this is a variable. Uh, so uh, if we differentiate, so what I can see here. So this is rho dash m with respect to m, and the derivative of x to the power m with respect to m. So this is a to the power x so you know the derivative of a to the power x is a to the power x into log a and for that this is x to the power m into log x and here is dx if we differentiate this with respect to m so that's why this is constant and this is variable and now if we differentiate this is we got here minus 1 whole to the power minus 1 uh, into m plus 1 whole to the power this is minus 2 again rho double dust m and that would be here 0 to 1 again defines with respect to m so and this another log x and log x and this is whole square and dx and see uh, this is minus 1 into minus 2 so we can write here minus 1 whole square and the 1 and 2 this is we can write here factorial 2 so m plus 1 whole to the power minus 3 and same as again being the third order and then it would be here uh, 0 to 1 and if we differentiate this x to the power m into another log x so log x whole to the power q and this is dx so here is minus 3 so minus 1 whole q and 1 2 3 this is factorial 3 and so m plus 1 whole to the power uh, minus 4 so from this uh, interpretation so you can write easily to nth derivative and that is rho as nth derivative of the uh, uh, of this function and that can be written as c when the third order uh, then the degree of here is 3. So this is unchanged x to the power m is are all the same. So this is unchanged and log x c here when doing third order then we got the degree of this here 3 and here is a any order. So degree of this in n okay and this is dx and now see for the third order we got here minus 1 whole to the power third. So so we can write here minus 1 whole to the power n as we see this is the any order okay and this is a factual three for the third order. So we got uh, the after any third derivative here is factorial n and the degree of m plus 1 is here minus 4 when doing third order then for minus 4 so it will be uh, one more so that's why okay and the simplified form is here minus 1 whole to the power n and factorial n and over m plus 1 whole to the power m plus 1 c okay and this is a very important for uh, forming a digma um, function of this integral from this to this very important point okay this is very important point so uh, this is the uh, another technique of solving uh, of the solution of this problem so another my integral uh, uh, here is uh, 0 to infinity uh, this is the first and this is the uh, see uh, this is your answer actually okay now the another form is here 0 to infinity x to the power n e to the power minus ax and dx this is factorial n over e to the power n plus 1 same technique uh, we can uh, proceed this uh, for this problem um, so for that uh, for that we can uh, let us assume my integral like uh, 0 to infinity that is e to the power minus ax and this is their dx 
if we integrate this function, so the result is here e to the power minus x over minus a, okay, minus a, and this is a 0 to infinity, okay. So, put infinity, then it will be has 0, this is a big large number, this is negative big large number, so 1 by this big large number is equal to 0. Uh, and put here 0, so this is 1, so minus 1, uh, only 1 by a. This is a 5 of a, and this is equal to, this is 0 to infinity. So, uh, this is uh, with the parameter a, and this is the parameter a uh, for this function, this is e to the power minus ax and dx this is 1 over a now if we differentiate this this is at a 0 to infinity this is minus a into e to the power minus ax and dx this is minus 1 a to the power minus 1 minus 2 sorry this is minus 2 okay if we differentiate second order, then you can got here <clears throat> okay with respect to a. So that is x is a constant. Okay, so this is uh, uh, minus one whole square, and this is integral zero to infinity x to the power 2 e to the power minus ax and dx minus 1 whole square this is factorial 2 and e to the power minus 3 again doing third order okay this is a minus 1 whole q this is minus 1 whole q this is 0 to infinity this is here x q and e to the power minus ax and dx minus 1 whole q this is factorial 3 and this is a to the power minus 4. So from this pattern we can write easily this is after the uh, doing nth order so this is n so that is equal to minus 1 whole to the power n and this is 0 to infinity this is 0 to infinity okay and this is x to the power n e to the power minus ax and dx and this is equal to this is minus 1 whole to the power n say if we are doing third order the degree of the has is 3 and doing third order then it is here factorial 3 so this is here uh, factorial n and a to the power minus n plus 1 so from this integral so on the both side minus 1 whole to the power n and minus 1 whole to the power n are cancelled out. So therefore the 0 to infinity and x to the power n e to the power minus a x and dx the result is here factorial n over a to the power n plus 1. So see this is your integration result of this function. Okay. Thank you for watching my video.